Hello guys. Uh, in this video, I would like to explain that how we can uh, combine different DIM files and that is uh, we can set different DIM tiles which downloaded in the previous video and the link to that video is given in the description of this video. So you can see that uh, uh, how we downloaded those different tiles for the video of our interest and that represent digital elevation data. And in this video, we uh, because we need uh, that dim data for some specific region, and that data is in the, uh, the form of different tiles. So we need to combine the data, and that we are doing by using Mosaic uh, in ArcGIS. So in this video, I would like to explain that how we can Mosaic, how we can combine those different tiles to make a single dim part or area of interest. Uh, for this purpose, you need only dim data, different tiles, uh, so that you can combine them. Uh, let's go to the catalog and upload the dim files. Uh, this is the downloaded dim files with me for the upper end of I need to upload all these dim files to here. And then I will use mosaic to combine and create a single file. OK, uh, let's upload all these files. It's depending on your area of interest. I have more files. We don't have such huge number of files. OK, and let's now zoom out this, how it looks like. OK. OK, still it is huge. Let's, let's further zoom out. OK, so it looks like this. OK, I think it's enough now. I can see clearly this is uh, all files are uh, uploaded here. So now let's use the mosaic option. In the data management tools again. Go to the arc toolbox data management tools and then to raster and then to raster data set and then to mosaic double click on mosaic you will see input raster and now i you need to to put all this file to drag all this file you can do both ways you can do from here just click on this one and so on or you can drag from here just you can put here like this three four and so on you can do like this again i will say i have more files but maybe you have not such a number of files so you can do it very easily
Okay, let's do it. Okay. Still we have a few files. Okay, or just at the end. Okay, so it's sad. Okay. You can click here if you want. You can you can you can, you can just click and you see the help here. The raster to add the input raster. This raster data set must already exist by default. The target raster is <clears throat> okay. The target raster can you, you can just uh, okay. Uh, there is something else. The target raster is considered uh, uh, the first raster in the list of the input raster. So this says that this can consider the first file uh, here uh, in the input raster. Uh, and just try this. Let's try this without mentioning this because this says that it will consider the first uh, file as the target raster. Let's try this. Okay, there is problem, and this means that the value is required in the target raster. So if you have target file, let's see. I'll go back to the catalog. I you can just copy a file from here, and then change the name to target or to the name of your uh, your basin or your state, your province or whatever. I just copied a file and then I changed the name to the target. We can do like this, it's not a big. Uh, just change the name. Go to the. Okay. These are different tip files, so just copy one tip file and then change the name to the target or whatever you want. So I have already this. That is target dot tip. So I just okay. I will just mention the name here on this. I don't need to do anything with it, this. I don't need to upload that. I just need to name the mention of the target file. So this is uh, OK now. You don't need to do anything else. You can explore these things, but you don't need to do anything with it. So just click on this and then it will mosaic all these data set into a single raster file, which is you can say dim data in a single file. You can see this file that they are looking tiles like one, two, three, something. You can see one, two, three, and something like that. In this in the mosaic file, you will see that that will be a single file. So just click on this. Okay, so all files are uh, now combining by the mosaic option. Uh, I think it will take some time, depend on the specification of your machine and data, how much data you are dealing with. Okay, uh, and now we completed uh, the mosaic process, and you can see it is quite obvious that this is now look like in the shape of the tiles. Uh, this now look like this uh, a single file. Uh, this means that all these tiles are now combined in a single file using the mosaic uh, under the data management tools in the Arc tools. Let's now uncheck these arts and see how it looks like.
Okay, so. Okay, so we are just near because there are many files, so I need to check on. Okay, so this is the last one, and this is the target .tif in which the file, which this is the file, the name of the file which is mosaic, and you can see it is not now in the shape of the tile; it is a single file. Okay, now uh, you can just change the color if you want, and you can do, uh, you can use this file. And just try to this, okay? So this is, you can give different colors according to your interest. You can use this file now for clipping purpose to clip, to mask, uh, you, can, you can clip the data according to your shape file because this is okay. This is a general file which is uh, called the upper index basin, but it's a lot of things which are not a part of the under upper index basin. So you can use you can use shape file to uh, to extract the upper index basin in a nice way. Uh, I will do that in the next video, not in this one. So this is all about mosaic. You can change the color. You can use invert. And then this will look like this. You can do different color, whatever you want. Just click on this and then this. Uh, one color is look like this. So it should look like this. And if you want to apply to uncheck the invert, then it should be look like a little different. The green color will be here and this will be the inverse. It look like this. And you can change. So other color if you want, just check. Let's see what, okay, just do this. Okay, it looks like this. You can click on the N word, look like this. And maybe you can change other color as well if you want to so see. Okay, I just want to see one color, maybe this one, let's see. Yeah, it looks like this. And if you click, uncheck the air word, then it will be, it will look like this. So this is all about the mosaic. Uh, for mosaic, you need dim data and the shape of the tile uh, for the uh, area of your interest, which you can download uh, from USGIS, GIS Earth Explorer or from any other source for free. And then you need to upload the data here in the ArcGIS and then you need to go to the data management tools and then to raster and then to raster data and then to mosaic and in mosaic you can combine into a single dim file which you can use for other purposes. So thank you very much uh, for watching this video and if you like the content please subscribe the channel so that you can receive a notification about the info, uh, informative videos in the future. Uh, thank you again and see you in the next video. Ciao.